Yo, what's the deal, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of O's Closet. If you haven't already, I would love it so much if you subscribe to my channel. I made it really, really easy and simple. All you gotta do is click the custom OB logo at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen to join the team. With that said, let's get into today's topic. But before we do that, let me pour me a drink. Nice and neat, nice and neat. Now, on to today's topic. Top five denim pieces you should have in your closet. Okay guys, I've been, I've been reading the comments, you guys been talking, I've been listening, and then I come back and create the content. So I've been seeing a lot of fellas, y'all been in the comments talking about, man, give me some top five denim pieces, where can I get my denim at, how can I stay fresh with the jean game? This episode is for y'all. Don't ever say I didn't do nothing for y'all, I do this for y'all, I listen to y'all. Before we even get into jeans or whatever denim pieces I have, you know, I think Denim is really tricky, right? Because every man is different. Every man has different style preferences. But I think it's important to have stable pieces in your closet, and that's what we're gonna go through today. But just for kicks and giggles, you know, there are all types of different denim. Loose, slim cut, boot cut, baggy, all of the above. I think there's different flavors for different flavors and different strokes for different folks. These pair of jeans I have on right here, right? These may not be for everybody, but for me, they're an essential piece in my collection, you know? They're just loose cuts, right? I got them rolled up, cuffed up right now, obviously, just cause that's the vibe for me, that's the look. But I obviously know that this isn't for everyone, right? But I'm gonna get into five pieces that I think are for everyone. Also, something cool that I'm gonna do today too, for each piece, I'm gonna try it on, all right? I'm gonna keep the same hat on, the same shirt, the same kicks, and I'm just gonna show you guys how all these different pieces flow with what I have on right now. All right, so we're gonna get into the first piece, which I think is almost maybe the most important piece. All right, and then we're gonna start off really, really strong here. It's some black denim jeans. Now, it's so important to have a nice pair of black jeans in your arsenal. Obviously, mine have a few details and stitchings on the knees and things of that sort, but a black pair of jeans goes a long way. I mean, if you're talking about someone who, don't, who may not have a lot of pieces of denim, I mean, a black pair of jeans is something that you will wear three to four times a week, you know, if that if that was what all you had. They're universal, they don't really show dirt easily, which is a good thing and a bad thing, because sometimes if you get lazy and nasty, you don't clean your jeans, right? So they, they don't, the dirt doesn't show, so it works in your favor when you're out, but you gotta remember to tighten your shit up when you get home, all right? But I think that's the great thing about having them, you know, if you spill something on these things, or they get dirty just from just your, your day-to-day -day travel, um, it's easy to disguise and mask it. Obviously, you could wear this with anything, right? Like I'm about to put it on right now, it's all black. Um, you could dress it with any any top, any hat, any shoes, anything goes with black. It's, 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 it's awesome. So, let me try this on and just show y'all how this go. Ah, shit. This is a pair of slim cut jeans. And if you guys caught my last episode, you know I talked about getting things tailored. Um, so things fit you properly. As you can see here, I mean, I could wear a belt if I wanted to wear it just for the look, but I don't necessarily need a belt to keep these pants up. That's more important the older you get. Oh, this is, okay, you guys see this here? Right here, I got on this all black fit, right? This is a nice rule of thumb for all of you guys at home. This is this is a gym. This is, this. I can't believe this is coming up in this episode, but it is. White socks with all black is a no-no unless you are intending to show the sock. For example, if I decide to wear these jeans out like this with this shoe, I do not want my white sock showing. I think the sock of choice, in my opinion, because the way this jean is cut, should be a no-show sock, okay? I understand no-shows, it's not everyone's flavor, that's all good. You got on all black, throw on some black socks so it blends in nice and neat. Otherwise, you look like a poo butt walking around with your ankles showing and you're not trying to show your ankles. And we don't want to be a poop up. We've discussed this already. Don't be a poop up. Glad we got that out of the way. Because I have on white socks, I think the appropriate thing for me to do to actually show the sock. Now the question is, is how do I want to show the sock? There's very different ways you could bust with these jeans. So I could cuff the sides right here, right? Give you guys a game. And 
then cuff. Bam. Like, uh. So that way it stays locked in on your ankle. See, I just gave y'all some free game, fam. If you stick around long enough, I might teach you something. You might learn something wrong. You hang around me long, long enough, fam. Now, obviously, you could just traditionally just tuck, okay? Or excuse me, cuff. Yeah, but I think that's better. That's definitely the look right there. That's one way to rock all black denim with a black t-shirt, a black hat, and some black and white shoes with some white socks, all right? So the importance of having black jeans is that you could do everything with them. You guys obviously know how I feel about versatility inside the closet. Black jeans are definitely at the top of the versatility list for anything. One thing I realized from the top five fragrances episode is that you guys really enjoyed when I gave you guys the, the pricing options and just I uh, was really transparent with you know how much things cost. And I think it's important to share with that with you guys because I want you guys to make the right decisions and, and just understand what's, what's, what's real. Um, wow, the cameraman, <sighs> this dude, man. Quiet on the set. All right, these jeans are actually J brand. They were $160. One phrase that I've always lived by is you get what you pay for, you know, and that's in anything. So just keep that on the forefront of your mind. With that said, we're gonna get on to the second item on the list. I told you guys, we were talking staples here. All right, I'm talking about Mando pieces that everyone has to have, all right? Traditional pair of denim blue jeans. It is absolutely mandatory that you have your pair of denim blue jeans in your closet, in your arsenal, okay? Now, obviously, we talk about versatility all the time here on Ola's Closet. A pair of fitted denim blue jeans, you could wear with the blazer, you could wear with the simple t-shirt that I have on right now, you could rock it with the tank top. If all you had was this denim blue and those black jeans, you would be good. I don't want you guys at home thinking you guys gotta have this huge closet with a plethora of different jeans to get by, you guys can make it happen with these two pair of jeans right here, I promise you guys. Now obviously, you wanna you know, dive further into your sense of style and get more jiggy with it, you need more options. Literally for every, your every day to day, for anything you're trying to do, whether it's going out to dinner, or going out on a date, or having a meeting, any of those things, if you got a solid pair of black jeans and denim blue jeans, you in the game, fam. Now, check how I got it with the fit though. So basically the same way I had it with the black jeans, except I, I uncuffed them. You know, I let them, I let them sit a little bit. And you guys see what I'm saying, like right here at the bottom. To me, to me personally, that's tacky, right? If I'm showing the sock, cool. But if I'm not showing the sock, I'm not showing the sock. You gotta make up your mind. You can't play both sides of the fence. Then they ever tell you you can't have your cake and eat it too? I actually have another pair here too. Cause I couldn't really make up my mind on which one it was. They're both kind of similar. This one is a little distressed, which I think we're gonna get into in a second. Two different options. Talking about price point, I believe I paid 60 bucks for these pair, maybe 70, 70 bucks for these. And I definitely paid 60 bucks for these. And these are both from Zara. I just made the point about you get what you pay for. But sometimes when you take care of things, they take care of you. They're durable. They're flexible. You want pants that could move with you. As you can see, I got here. Ha, 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 ha. All that. Ha, 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 ha. You ain't gonna be doing all that shit, but you know. You want pants that live the same lifestyle you live. With that said, we're gonna move on to the third piece of denim that you gotta have in your closet. The next piece of denim that I have on the list are black distressed jeans. I think it's perfect for not only when it's warmer outside and you want to have your knees out and just add a little more sauce to it. But I mean, it goes well in the winter time too. Like, oddly enough, it kind of feels good to be layered up and have some type of ventilation going on. Aside from a look, ripped jeans are extremely comfortable, right? I mean, having the, the cuts in the jeans allow more room to breathe, right? More room for movement. All right, so as far as comfortability goes, um, it's extremely high on the list. And I think most importantly, it's just the swag that it gives you a look uh, when you rock the ripped jeans. So how I'm rocking it, I guess it's really just like, really nothing's really changing, right? The outfit's kind of really just staying the same. It really looks the same in everything that we're doing. I, we look like a poopa every time, I'll tell you that. If you guys think that this look is tacky, leave it in the comments below. 
and then we could do a row session on your friends that work. No, I'm just playing. But look, you know what? Let me actually show you guys the type of socks you should be wearing when your ankles can be seen with these type of jeans. Yeah, I got, oh, my bad, I didn't even know you was watching me. I got some fresh boys right here. Everyone got their own preference, but to me, Vans got the best no-shows. They don't slide off the hill. Nothing worse than having some no-shows and you having to play it off. Like you feeling good, you having a good time, but you're really stepping on the, the edge of this sock and it's really killing your heel. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, there's, I never had that problem with these socks. So yeah, I guess the brand is important when it comes to buying the small things, you know, the small things matter. It actually makes sense that Vans has the best no-show sock because they have the low-cut shoes. So matter of fact, if you guys wanna see a top five Vans episode, leave that in the comments below. We'll do that next because I got a plethora. See, look, to me, that's how it's supposed to look. That's nice and neat. Look at the difference. You guys see what I'm saying? Like it's the little things that matter when you're getting dressed and the average person or the average eye may not catch it, but when you understand what you're doing and you're trying to be flawless, everything we wanna do, we wanna be clean, like everything nice and neat, right? Unless the white sock showing is the look, the no-show is the way to go. Y'all jot that down, man. Don't forget that, man. This is a valuable, valuable, valuable tip. I believe the brand is R and A. A little more on the expensive side, they're $250. And then it came with this cool little chain. So this is actually their logo, which is in between the R and the A. I think this is a dope little piece. These jeans from Barney's online. So right here, we got some of my old faithfuls. Yo, y'all know you're gonna understand how long I've had these jeans. I mean, they're a little faded, obviously a lot faded actually. To be honest, keep it real. I'm on the humbug with y'all. I mean, I'm a real person just like y'all now. These were my first pair of black ripped jeans. Well, actually, my first pair of ripped jeans my sister made for me in high school. But the first pair that I bought was these joints from Zara, maybe 65, 70 bucks back in 2014, 2013. But yeah, man, you can't go wrong with, with places like Zara, Top Man, Forever 21. Oh, and I got another store that you guys are gonna be surprised you can find some denim in that we're gonna get to in just a second. I think that's a perfect segue to get into the next piece of denim, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, the next piece of denim on this list has to be my favorite wash in terms of denim, and that would be this light blue stone wash. Uh, these are another pair of distress jeans. Not only are they distressed, but they're also stone washed, and uh, those are two things that I think are important to, to note and to have inside your, of your closet. Stone wash is obviously light, you know, it brings out darker colors that you may rock. The proper way to rock the kicks with the jeans that have the ankles out, you know? It seems like I'm rocking everything the same way. I'm such a basic guy. Okay, look, let me, let me show you what happens when you don't got tailored jeans, right? You got shit that looks like this. That's, that's a poop of shit, fam. Now I gotta wear a belt, otherwise, and my shit ended, you know, ended up sagging. And I told y'all we left sagging back in 2014 if you watched the top five fashion tips for men episode. Did you catch that? If you didn't catch it, go watch that. Then come back, okay? No sagging, fellas. But this other pair of stonewashed jeans or selvage denim um, is what the experts might call it. One of my really favorite jeans that I have in my closet, this is the Fear of God. I think these came out a few years ago. These are really on the expensive side. I'm almost embarrassed to tell you guys how much I pay for these, but you know, this, this channel is all about being honest and transparent with you guys. So I'll let you guys know exactly what I dropped. I think it was, stupid, 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 stupid. 950 on these jeans, man. Stupid, stupid. But one cool thing about these jeans, other than them being distressed, and obviously having that nice stone wash, that light blue color that we're looking for, you have the option to get really freaky, all right, with the bottom of your jeans, okay? So if you wanted them to be extremely tapered, you could just zip it all the way down. Having that zipper option, I think is really dope, especially when you have different kicks. So am I disappointed in my decision? Hell no. Would I do it again? Probably not. I'm glad I have it. Hell yeah. Think like that, all right, fam? With that said, we're gonna get into the last piece of denim. To be honest, I, I, I've been waiting for this, obviously, for the entire episode, and I'm really excited to talk about this last piece. So let's just go ahead and get to that. Denim jacket, fam. Every man gotta have a 
denim jacket and it's crossed. Now I know y'all thought this whole episode may have been about jeans, but there's no way I was gonna let this episode get by without talking about the importance of a denim jacket, fam. When you think about getting dressed and going out in the evening and you know just wanting to be on the more casual side, but still be fresh, you know, because you have a collar, nothing better than throwing on a denim jacket, right? You can wear it with anything. You can pop your collar, you know, roll up your sleeves. The reason why I was so excited to get to it is because of the brand. So this is Levi's. It would be shameful of me to even talk about denim without mentioning Levi's. I think Levi's is the, one of the more popular denim brands. It's one of the most affordable denim brands. And when you talk about longevity, I mean, I don't know another brand that has withstand the test of time like Levi's has. I'm 31 years old. I've been rocking Levi's since I was six, seven, eight years old. Like that's how long I've been rocking Levi's. Whatever, whatever they have this denim, man, I, I mean, they do it all from slim cut to boot cuts to loose jeans to slim fitted to tapers levi's has it all man and to me i think levi's takes the cake for denim pieces my favorite denim jacket and i have a couple of different options here obviously you guys know you know i'm always going to give you guys options or try to at least give you guys options and show you that, that it doesn't always have to be what i have you could do so much with a denim jacket so much. I mean, you can throw a hoodie on underneath it. Obviously, I have a t-shirt on right now. I mean, I could throw a freaking pea coat over the top of this when it's cold in the winter time to really layer it up. Wear it with slacks, wear it with chinos. You know, so many different different ways you could rock it. Obviously, you could rock it with black denim as well. But you're just talking about the different types of brands. This looks almost identical to the jacket I have on right now. Now this is the Levi's jacket. To be honest, I don't remember the price. We'll have to look that up. I'm sure it was somewhere anywhere between 80 to $110 for this denim jacket. But this one right here, got this bad boy off of ASOS, fam. I think it was 50 bucks. But yeah, man, you can find a great quality denim jacket off of ASOS. I copied this back in 2016. So we talking about things that, I mean, the tag's coming off, but the denim's still intact. Time for a job. All right, so different color shade of denim, different cuts in the pockets. This jacket was about like six or eight. Ain't no different from the Levi's jacket I got on now, you feel me? So it's all about, you know, everybody different, fam. I heard Yo Gotti say in the song today, this is Yo Gotti, fam. He got a new single out. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's new because I was playing off the new hip hop playlist, okay? And he was talking about, I don't have Jay-Z money. Now I'm doing well, but I don't got Jay-Z money. I'm not gonna run, I'm not gonna get caught running in the game that Jay-Z's running in, cause I'm gonna embarrass myself. I'm paraphrasing, right? But you guys understand what I'm saying, man. You can still look good and don't have to pay the freaking premium dollar for a piece of clothing. You can spend 50 bucks, man, and still look good and have it for a long time and do a lot of good things with it, man. So always just think about that, man. It's not always about being trendy or being the flashiest, right? You can make things happen for a low price, man. And I think that's the dope thing about having a sense of style, is it? You, you can mix high-end brands with low-end brands. It doesn't matter. As long as you make it look good, that's all that matters. That's what it's about. Those are the top five dinner, dinner pieces, right? But I got an honorable mention, okay? It's something that, I mean, I probably rock these things maybe once every three weeks, fam. Some way, somehow, some form of fashion. You gotta have, you gotta get you some camels, fellas. Okay, you gotta get some camels. All right, I'm not gonna try them on. What do y'all need me to try them on? You know what? Let me bust them on real quick. Those camos, fam. You can rock anything with camels. When I say anything, I, I literally mean any color. There's not one thing, not one color. Pick a color, go ahead and name it. I wait. It doesn't exist. There's not one color that does not go with camo. I promise you, fatigues, you gotta get you some, right? Talking about pants that have the zipper. Look at the flexibility I'm able to have with the pants, all right? So look how just it just doesn't flow, right? But you break it a little bit, give yourself a little, some room, right? And it turns, it really turns into a whole nother look. See the difference? Pooh butt. Fly guy, poo butt, fly guy. 
See what I'm saying? Be a fly guy, don't be a pooper. Thank you guys so much for joining me along with today's episode. I hope I was able to answer the majority of you guys' questions regarding denim. Um, I look forward to answering more questions that you guys continue to leave in the comments below and future content. Uh, be on the lookout very soon. I promise, I, I keep saying it, but I promise it's coming extremely soon. Merch is coming, it's on the way. Be on the lookout, I would love if you guys support me there. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a great journey. I, I want you guys to be part of that. If you guys haven't already, be sure to head over to my new Patreon page uh, where there are incentives if you decide to support me and my content on my channel there. I would love that as well. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, bang that like button, comment which piece of denim you would like to see in your closet, subscribe, and on that note, we out.